Welcome to the talk on multi-input attribute-based encryption and predicate encryption. I am Anshu Yadav and this is a joint work with Shweta Agrawal and Chota Yamada. So attribute-based encryption is a primitive that, as we know, provides fine-grade access control over encrypted data, where data is encrypted with respect to an attribute X and the keys are generated with respect to policy F. So that the decryption is possible if and only if fx is equal to one. And in a more general notion of predicate encryption, which provides a stronger security, the ciphertext hides the attributes as well, as long as the adversary does not issue any decrypting key queries in the security. So let us begin with the motivation behind the work. So the uh, starting motivation comes from the fact that uh, thinking of a data to be associated with a single ciphertext may not suffice um, for many uh, re, uh, modern world applications where the data related to a single entity can in fact be distributed across different locations. So for example, consider a fo uh, the, uh, the following scenario where there is a medical researcher who wants to study efficacy of certain medicine in patients, uh, let's say above 65 years of age with uh, both COVID and asthma. In such a situation, we would like to use predicate encryption to provide restricted access to records of only those patients who are above 65 years of age and have COVID and asthma. However, note that in the real world scenario, uh, records of any patient may be distributed across different uh, departments of the hospital or across different uh, uh, centers. Uh, for example, COVID center may be located in a different uh, part of the city. However, we would still want to be able to use predicate encryption to provide uh, controlled access to the data. So basically what we want is that each uh, department should be able to generate uh, encrypt the ciphertext locally. And then the, uh, the researcher should be able to use her key on the combination of these independently generated ciphertext to, to recover the underlying data. And in general, we would like to think of uh, AB or PE in any such scenario where uh, the data is generated at different locations, but is still correlated so that uh, it, it forms a single logical group. It's just that the different components are generated in a distributed fashion. So let us look at the related work in the domain. In fact, uh, even though this primitive being uh, you, uh, quite useful, it is largely unexplored. The notion of MIAB was introduced by Brekersky et al. in the context of constructing witness encryption. However, they do not provide any concrete construction. And in the case of MIP, there is no study at all. So let us look at the main difficulty in, uh, in constructing MIAB. So the main difficulty comes uh, uh, from the need to satisfy two seemingly contradictory requirements at the same time. So on the one hand, we want to be able to generate different components of the ciphertext independently. And on the other hand, we want uh, to be able to combine these ciphertexts so as to perform decryption. And if we look at the existing uh, constructions for ABE, the second requirement uh, uh, needs that the randomness uh, used in these uh, uh, ciphertext components is same. And on the other hand, the first requirement says that these uh, randomness are generated independently. And this contradictory requirement makes it difficult to construct MIABE. So here are the results that we get. Firstly, we formalize the security definition for MIAB and MIPE. And then in MIAB regime, we get two ABE uh, for NC1 and heuristic constructions for three ABE for NC1 and two ABE for P. And the main insight in our result comes from uh, the finding that there exists uh, a surprising relation between uh, techniques developed in context of uh, cy uh, succinct ciphertext policy ABE to, uh, uh, to a completely unrelated uh, setting of uh, two input to key policy ABE. And we exploit this relation to get the results that we have. And then in the regime of MIP, we uh, gave a generic compiler to lift any K input AB for a constant K to KP. And then using this compiler on the results that we have for MIABE, we get two PE for NC1 and heuristic constructions for three PE for NC1 and two PE for P. Thank you.